What is it about going and asking people who already care deeply about our organizations to support that organization financially? What is it about going out and asking people to give that scares so many people? Well, today we're going to talk about how to take the fear out of that ask and maybe pick up a few pointers from the Duke along the way and, and some others as well. When you think about John Wayne, what is it about his character and the characters he, he played that is so enduring and so endearing. Harris Poll has been doing a poll since 1998 of the most uh, beloved actors. And John Wayne is the only one who's been in that poll of top 10 favorites every year since the poll began. What is it? What are the qualities? Well, some of these things come to mind. A straight shooter, honest, fearless, courageous. Those are some of the same qualities we're going to talk about putting into our efforts and going out and, and, and without fear asking people to support the mission that they already care about. John Wayne said, courage is being scared to death and saddling up anyway. We're going to talk about courage. First, we're going to talk about a different mindset. It's not personal. We're not asking people for uh, charity or something they don't want to do or give till it hurts. Here's the expectation I want to set in your mind. I want to think about it as simply telling a story and inviting them to join. Tell your story and your passion and invite them to join. We invite individuals to join our clubs and organizations all the time and give their time. It's no different from asking someone who's already said, I want to financially uh, support this organization to give in a uh, more effective way. C.S. Lewis talked about courage. It is not simply one of the virtues, but the form of every virtue and its testing point. In my work with organizations around the country, and particularly with volunteers, and when I ask them what is it, what's their greatest fear in going out and asking people to give, here are the four that I hear most often, that fear of rejection. It is deeply ingrained in us in every aspect. We do not want to be turned down. It doesn't feel good. If you're a volunteer or, or, or maybe uh, on, on staff of the organization, that fear of damaged relationship is a big one. If we Sometimes we feel too close to that individual to sit down and ask them to give financially. And certainly with a volunteer, many times it's the fear of the quid pro quo. If I ask them to give to my organization, they're likely to ask me to give to theirs. What I tell them is, yeah, that's probably true, but if you go back to what the expectation truly is, simply looking for an opportunity to share my passion and invite you to join, you can make that decision. Why wouldn't you give them that courtesy as well? And then lastly, that fear of unrealistic expectations. What is it that we're really expecting and setting as realistic expectations as we go out and ask people to give? First, it's simply an opportunity to share. And if we're going to do that, the expectation is...